Monday morning, January 29th. I am really sticking to the whole, we don't bloom January 1st, we bloom in the spring. So January till March 1st, I'm taking it as focusing on the warm up, getting into being the best version and getting your routines in order so that when March 1st hits, you're ready to bloom. You have a routine set in motion already. You're not hard on yourself because you've taken that trial period of three months to get yourself in the groove of it. So it's Monday and I am actually starting 75 hard. I know it's 75 soft if you change anything about it, but I don't want to call it 75 soft. I Think that's like passive aggressive almost. So I'm not, I'm calling it 75 hard. Basically 75 hard is 75 days of these rules. And the first one is no alcohol. And I think with 75 soft, it's no alcohol except for special occasions, but I just want to cut. I just want to cut alcohol because I went sober for three months and I loved it. And then with the hard, it's following a strict healthy diet, like no processed foods, no fast foods, less sugar, all of that. I think that that is difficult because especially if you're prone to shaming yourself for slipping up with your meals, it's a recipe for disaster. So I'm looking at it as like 80, 20, basically eating as much whole real foods, no process, less sugar as I can, but I will allow myself to have a PB and J here and there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if I want to have a fucking cookie, I'm going to have a fucking cookie. You know, I feel like it long-term helps you not shame yourself and then spiral and then eat all the bad food because you're like, I already fucked up, you know? And then also it's drink a gallon of water, but with 75 soft, it's drink three liters of water. I don't need to do all that anyway, because I did the whole body calculator for your weight and your height and all of that stuff of how much water you should be drinking. For me personally, I only have to drink two liters, which is I think like 67 ounces. I already struggle with that. So let's just get that in order. And then two exercises a day and one must be outside. So I'm not going to do that every day, but I am going to do the two exercises every day. In the morning, I'll do like my strength training, that kind of stuff, Pilates, whatever. And then at night, yoga, maybe a sunset walk and that'll get me outside. And then the last thing is to read nonfiction daily, specifically like self-help stuff. And then with 75 soft, you can read anything. I don't know how much, like 10 pages. I don't know. I'm going to do the nonfiction daily because that's what I was doing last year. I was reading 30 minutes of nonfiction every morning. I really want to get back to that. So that's how I'm doing that. And those are just the rules, guidelines of the challenge. Pretty self-explanatory. And I named it 75 hard to Coachella because it perfectly ends my 75 days on like the Friday that Coachella is starting. I think that's gorgeous. I, how much more perfect could that be? Starting it today ends it right on Coachella. That's I love it. So I've got two and a half months to really just get my shit back in order and then I'm gonna be hot for Coachella and Stagecoach. I'm also tracking it all in my Notion under my challenges, under the fitness dashboard. I have an all-in-one life planner that I made on Notion that you guys can get. I'll have the link below. If you want me to do just the fitness and nutrition dashboard as like a separate template so that you don't have to get the whole thing, let me know and I will do that. Have my water to start the day. I'm going to do a little bit of nonfiction reading and then I'm gonna do my workout for the day and then get the day started. Okay, I'm in a different workout set because I've decided that instead of a workout in my house, I'm going to go for a hot girl walk for a couple miles because I am spiraling in my negative thoughts. Waking up just like an hour or so later through me and I have a meeting today. I get the whole waiting mode thing. So everything is just, mm. and even though it takes me longer to go for a walk somewhere else than just do a workout at home, I feel like I need it. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're improvising, we're calling an audible. Mom is coming over to, why do I look Oompa Loompa like? little intermesh to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy to get started by choosing from one of the many templates designed for every category that allows you to customize the look and add in your own content. You do also have the option to design your own template, and this is my website that houses everything relating to my personal brand. A goal of mine is to eventually launch my own online store, and Squarespace already has that feature available to me when I'm ready. So you can sell your products in an online store, whether they're physical, digital, or service products. And speaking of service products, they also 
have a built-in scheduling feature that lets you create and accept appointments through your website. Scheduling function has everything needed to manage your schedule, accept payments, send auto reminders, and showcase your services. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sienna Mirabella to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Ignore all that, that has to go to my mom's house. My mom is coming over and we are gonna organize the pantry finally because you've seen the pantry, it's hideous. I got these labels for the containers. My mom got me this 21 pack of the clear containers with like the white lids, it's airtight, whatever. We have that to work with. And then I thought, let's take it up a notch. Let's get little cute stickers. We're gonna do that today. I'm going to attempt to make like a real or short form content of me doing this. These are all the ones that it has. And then this. Ow, I just, yeah. I could have just moved the camera and shown you this on the floor instead of doing all of this, but felt right. Whew, I'm looking like Oompa Loompa doopity doo today. I don't like it. Look at the state of the pantry if you don't know. I probably should have decluttered it before she was on her way because now I have a good like 20 minutes. So horrendous. But then also I want to move these because they're taking up space and get like the little organizers to put my wellness shit. So like the little stuff that's like this, that's like little pouches. I want to organize more wellness stuff and just make this all wellness. I did my best but it's messy and then i don't like i hate pantries like this because this bitch is deep am i ever gonna go back there and see what's no i just throw things hope for the best and i have no idea what's underneath these are all the ones that we have i'm gonna un okay wrapping paper i'm gonna unbox all of these and just put them on the counter This is what the final pantry looks like. Obviously not perfect in the setup of how everything is put in. I had to raw dog it because my mom had to go. So it works for me and it's so Hey girl. It works for me and it's so much better than it was. Remember what it was, this is so much better. It's, I feel so cute using everything. I used the coffee creamer for tea this morning and it's just so cute. This 
yeah, we're gonna, these are like the stragglers. The next project I'm gonna do is the spices. I'm gonna get from Amazon the little spice jars with the labels that match these. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be great. And then we'll figure out all the stuff that's like in the back of there. But you guys remember I had those little wire containers. So I just keep noodles there and then snack stuff, which I don't really have a lot of. But then also back there, other protein powders because obviously the labels didn't have pumpkin spice protein, banana cinnamon protein, and they only had one protein powder sticker. I'm not gonna buy the whole thing again just to get more of these. They're fine over there. They're totally fine. And I also don't have any more containers. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's perfect. I love it. I think it turned out so much better than what it was. Thank you.